Hello there, and we start this one off with putting on a bald cap. Fasten it and secure it with um, spirit gum or whatever skin adhesive you have available. Go on with a layer of latex to make sure it really sticks there. And then we protect the eyebrows with a little uh, Vaseline. And after that, we bring out the prosthetics that we made prior to this video. To learn how to create prosthetics like this, please click on the video on the screen now. We begin by cutting out the pieces we want, in this case the cheekbone as well as the um, eyebrow bone, or whatever you call it. And to puff them up a little extra, we fill the hollow areas with the cotton pads and uh, latex. And you can use this method uh, no matter what kind of uh, prosthetic you have uh, been creating, so... Make sure you get some more latex on the face there. And attach your parts. Add an extra layer of latex around to secure it. Then we go in and cover up some cracks with uh, cotton pads and latex. This is an excess piece of latex we're using to create the nose bone here. Just fold it over and attach it with the latex. We continue to work with the cotton pads and latex to create a more of a solid upper jaw part. Then bring out the teeth, also made prior to this video. Attach the teeth using uh, latex. How to create a teeth is covered in our latex prosthetics tutorial. So check it out. And the lower teeth we cut up, um, we cut it up a bit because it's gonna move a lot.
and then fill up with uh, more cotton pads, creating a skeleton. Build with cotton pads and latex to extend the skull a bit. And continue with uh, even more cotton pads and latex to build a bridge between the prosthetic and the nose bone. Then we paint white. Using grease-based colors here, they cover up a lot. So they're very good to use in situations like this. Go on with the red. Some more white. And then we bring out the yarn to create all the blood vessels in the face and the muscle fibers. Tear them up a little, apply latex to the face. And another round of latex on top of them to really make them stick. Break up the ends there, making all the tiny little threads come out. And um, blood vessel in Swedish is blutschall. Go on with the red paint on the neck. A little on the nose there as well. And curling up some more yarn around the eyes. He's beginning to look pretty nasty. It takes quite a while to d apply this, so um, if you're going to do it, make sure you have the time. And then we paint some fake blood in the uh, eye sockets giving them a darker shade.
Then go on with a red color again to mix it up even more. And then eyeshadow to really darken it. Painting his mouth black behind the teeth. Darkening the space between the teeth as well. And we painted on too much, so we had to scrub off some of it. And uh, well, after that, you are ready to go out and prank people. Hope you liked this, and we'll see you next week. Bye!